Welcome back. More than a quarter of a million Australians are now in aged care and that will double over the next 30 years. Homes for the elderly are not renowned for great tucker, but that's changing. Just like airlines, some are seeking out top chefs to create restaurant quality meals. Food in residential aged care gets a bad rap. Canned, thawed, unhealthy, stingy servings. Now there's a fight back. A new culinary mission led by celebrity chefs and renowned cooks with advice from dietitians on the best food for the elderly. And to give them food which is wholesome, delicious, but most importantly is nutritionally fine. Damien Pignolet, consultant chef for Montefiore Homes, says the key is high protein to regenerate cells. Protein consists of around 70% and that can be meat, obviously it's fish, eggs, nuts, cheese. TV cook and author Maggie Beer has established a foundation to improve food standards in aged care nationally. The fresh fruit and vegetables, the full fat milk and cream, butter. Peter Morgan Jones, food ambassador for the Hammond Care chain, was chef at Windsor Castle. He says the aged and those with dementia need a buffer for times they get sick. We encourage that they have cream and eggs and bacon and ham and all the yummy things. And it's really important to have high protein, high energy food. All local and fresh daily in a welcoming environment. And they make sure you have a balanced diet. I think most of us are putting on weight. <laughs> Australia has almost 3,000 residential aged care facilities and not all of them are providing food to a standard that they have here. But over the next 10 to 20 years, the baby boomers are going to be much more demanding about the quality of food that they have in aged care. Thank you. That looks lovely. Beautiful. A standard for other homes to emulate. Helen Wellings, 7 News.